We're in beautiful India. And what is India famous for? Bollywood movies, chaotic traffic, and their food. Food is the reason why I wanted to go to India the most. So my today's mission is going to be to find 10 different street foods that are all under one single euro. Ladies and gentlemen, I present you salad. chicken thank momos. You. Oh, thank you. And we also have a salad. Chicken momos originated in Tibet and came to India in 1960 by Tibetan refugees. And it's something like Chinese baobun, small steamed dumplings that are filled with meat. We're pretty lucky to find these meatballs because in Rajasthan they are 75% vegetarian. So finding a meatball like this is a pretty hard task to do. Let's try. There's a minced chicken meat inside with coriander and onion. This food is pretty refreshing from a typical Indian food that is fried or deep fried. So it's just steamed and not with much oil. So if you're not in a mood for typical Indian food, this is a food to try. We found Piyas Kachuri is another traditional meal of Rajasthan and it's these fluffy balls that are deep fried. And this one should be with uh, onion, I think. This one is supposed to be filled with lentils. And they asked me if I want a curry. So yes, they gave me a curry in a plastic bag and uh, I think a pretty damn spicy sauce. Can you guess the price? 50 cents for all of this. Let's try it. It's not that spicy. I can feel a lot of cumin in there. It's onion, potatoes, cumin, cilantro. And if you put it in the curry and eat it then, it's not that dry. It's, I think it's better. Strange looking sauce. Let's see if it's sweet. Ooh, it's, it has a consistency of a, like a jam. I think it's actually the rose hip sauce because it's a bit sweet and it resembles me of roses. But you see, all this food for the price of just 50 cents, that's quite a good deal. So if you're in the streets of Rajasthan, look for Kaji Kaburi, Kaji Khaduri. I don't know, I will write the name here. And now it's time for something sweet. And we found two desserts for the price of 50 rupees in total. This is Galeb Jamun and it's basically a milk or like milk solids that are fried and put in a sugar syrup. So it's basically just sugar and fat. Imagine milk, you put it in a lot of lot of sugar and then fry it. This is it. And the second thing, it's called jalebi. Sugar with flour that is also fried, as everything here in India. It's really crispy and once you bite into it, all the sugar and oil just gets into your mouth. So it's basically instant sugar rush. But these are the Indian sweets and we had to try them. And we found another traditional Indian street food here. It's called seo puri and it's basically those crackers that you see behind me and they are filled with potatoes, onions, uh, you can put another sauces there and on top they put some noodles. This local guy recommended me that these are very 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 good. Let's try one. That's gonna be one of the best street foods I've eaten here. It's super crispy. The inside is not so spicy. We have many different flavors. It's sweet, it's sour, it's a bit salty. Yeah, this is gonna be a meal that I will be eating quite often here. This man has been making the soup puri for 30 years. Before that, his father was making the soup puris for 20 years. And they are so good, that I had to order another plate. Plate number two, because it's too good. I have Jesus Christ, the traffic here is terrible, I hope you hear me. But we found another local street food. This one's called pakora and it's again fried, deep fried. The vendor told us that it's like onions, spinach that are fried with a bit of spices. Should be good. It resembles me a bit of a falafel. Bit more fried, bit more spicy, but it's quite like a falafel. They also gave me a sauce like this. They told us it's not spicy. What's the reality? It's gonna be spicy as hell. Let's see. Oh. Yeah, the spiciness came <laughs> a bit late, but it's spicy, as everything here in India. At this vendor we paid 50 rupees, which is something like 60 cents, quite a good deal. And this is an ice cream, it's called Kulfi, and this one is made with saffron. Saffron, pistachios and almonds. Here in Jaipur, they put saffron everywhere. It's in Swiss, it's in tea, it's put on meat, it's basically everywhere. This ice cream is handmade. They blend all the ingredients together in a one big bowl. Then they're putting in a small aluminium forms and they put it in ice. And when a customer wants this ice cream, they just put a hot water on the aluminium form and ice cream is here. So let's try. This one has a really lot of saffron in it. I can feel there a milk, some condensed milk, a lot of sugar, but for the price of like 30 cents, it's really a good deal in the hot Jaipur streets. And another food is being served. And this is just outside of our hostel. And it's called Chloe. Chloe. 
exactly. <laughs> Something like that. The vendor was pretty kind and... He took all the ingredients and put it like in a big pan and he made everything fresh in front of us. But he didn't put chilies there. What's cool about this dish is that it's basically chickpeas with cumin, cilantro and a tomato. There's not that much oil and it's not that fried. So it's actually pretty healthy. Good change from the oily and uh, fried food. This is one of the best dishes we've had here. There's actually an onion in it and you can feel all the Indian spices in there, but not too much, just just enough. And for the price of 40 rupees, that's a good deal. Quite a good portion, yeah. That's a good deal. And the vendor is filming us as we are filming ourselves. <laughs> but yeah, let's move on to the next meal. What's the first meal that comes across your mind when I say Indian food? It's curry. What you heard about? Chicken curry, maybe beef curry, tofu curry. What have you seen? Egg curry? It's a curry with two hard boiled eggs. I mean, I haven't seen it before, but it's a street food. It's in India. Should be good. And for the price of 80 rupees, you get two hard boiled eggs, the gravy, as they refer to curry sauce here in India, and two chapatis. But this is the flavor we get when you put a curry seasoning into your curry sauce. Pretty standard, but yet so delicious. And we found another street food under one euro. This one's called Pau Bhaji. And it's made of potatoes, onions, garlic, mm, tomatoes. tomatoes, and other mixed vegetables. It's like a chicken curry that is served with uh, bread that was roasted on a bit of oil, like everything in India. And we found out that this meal was served for the textile workers in Mumbai. So it's like a fast food meal that is easily prepared and it's pretty popular throughout India. Yeah, let's try. Let's give it a try. Mm -hmm. It's different than all the curries because this one is served with this bread. All the breads are like flat breads and this one is served with this bun. Yeah, it's fluffy, yeah? Fluffy bun. It tastes like general curries here. The only difference is that this one is more piquant than the others that are more watery. I guess it's because it's to fill the belly of the workers, yeah? Yeah, if it's piquant it's gonna... Fill you up faster. It's gonna fill you up faster. <laughs> and the price? 40 rupees. Pretty good deal. This is our 10th meal and we ask it to not be spicy. You know what we got? Whole chilies. Like that. Being cut into it. But I think you wouldn't guess what this meal is gonna be. You wouldn't guess, but... It's scrambled eggs. Really. With uh, onions, peppers, a lot of spices. And a lot of oil. A huge amount of oil. <laughs> and here in Jaipur, on every street, everywhere you go, there's burji. Or how they call it. It's the name for the scrambled eggs. Yeah. Burji on the left. Burji on the right, styles with hundreds of eggs, making this probably most popular Jaipuri street food. And we are here on a perfect spot under the bridge. Proper street food. Enjoy. <laughs> Thank you. <coughs> Spicy. Spicy. Oh, that's hot. The flavors fit together is amazing. If it wasn't for that half a liter of oil that's inside, this would be my favorite one. So this was 10 street foods in Jaipur for less than one euro. But wait, we have one more. Special one. Special one. Let's go. Here in Jaipur, everywhere in the streets, you can find this buttermilk. This one is super creamy. It has almonds on top, saffron on top, and it's a warm drink. And right now it's like 20 Indians watching me. Yes, it's a video. Okay. okay. Do you want to try? Drink? Yes. So he's my translator, but let's try this. It's really nice. It's like a full fed milk with a lot of condensed milk, a lot of cream, a lot of sugar. Really nice drink to try in the streets of Jaipur. So this was 10 meals under one euro in the streets of Jaipur. But there's so much more. There are plenty of more foods that could be eaten here for under one euro. But we have just so little time and so little bellies <laughs> see you in the next city i think yeah yeah see you soon see you guys